Welcome back, Love Stylers. I'm Misty, and today we're gonna to be talking about how carnivore is easier than keto. Today, stick around and hear me out. You clicked on this video because you're curious. I know you are. Keto diet is great. I lost a lot of weight on the keto diet. I did it for two and a half years. Now, I am not a doctor. I'm not a nutritionist but I'm here to tell you about my experience. In case you're curious about trying the carnivore diet, I'm gonna cover some things today that are very important. We talk a lot on this channel about lifestyle, improving your lifestyle, becoming your best version by pursuing your art and cleaning things up in your life. Remember to like and subscribe if you like what we have to say. And if you are interested in losing weight and becoming your best version. Also check me out on Instagram at Misty Love Style. Okay, so the keto diet, let's get into this. I love the keto diet. I promote the keto diet. The carnivore diet is another version of a ketogenic diet. Let's not get too confused here. They're different, but they do the same thing one more extremely than the other. The keto diet I was on for two and a half years, um, and I lost a lot of weight on the keto diet. So I love it. It is based mostly, as you probably already know, on a lot of vegetables, a moderate amount of meat, and some fat. To keep it simple, carnivore diet is based mostly on meat, zero or very, very, tiny amounts of vegetables. A lot of people use dairy on the carnivore diet and that covers it. You can have eggs as well. I'm gonna tell you the differences for me and my experience while switching from keto to carnivore. Now keto for me, again, was a, a great way of eating compared to the standard American diet, which I was eating before that. And it is very successful for a lot of people. One of the things I've noticed since I switched over to the carnivore diet, going on, I think we're in the nine or 10th month now on the carnivore diet. Check out my video, eight months on the carnivore diet. It's very interesting. One of the things that I noticed, the big difference is this. While I was on the keto diet, I was including a lot of vegetables. We started gardening here, the Love Style Studios, ate a lot of zucchini, ate a lot of broccoli, cauliflower, cruciferous vegetables, um, and some onions in there, a lot of salads. I found that I was a lot more inflamed by eating so many vegetables. It's coming around now in the nutrition community that vegetables have defenses that they use to prevent beings from eating them, oxalates, and some other defenses that they use that I can't think of right now that prevent us from eating them because they cause a little bit of inflammation in the human body and I found that to be true for myself. I was a lot more bloated when eating a lot of vegetables on the keto diet. My face was puffier. I would retain a lot more water than I do now on the carnivore diet where I've eliminated vegetables pretty much all the way. I do about 10% here and there when I feel like having a salad and I have coffee and dark chocolate. So that is technically keto. So I do 90% carnivore, which is meat, dairy and eggs, butter. And then I do 10%, some vegetables, a little salad, chocolate and coffee, some strawberries here and there. So my first important thing is pay attention to whether or not vegetables are making you react or your body react in a way that prevents you from being your best version and losing the weight that you wanna lose. So when you decide, if you decide, to try the carnivore diet, a lot of people try it for 30 days just to see what it's like. You could try it for a week and see what it's like. 
I'm going to recommend if you are an experimental type and you wish while you're on the keto diet that things were moving a little bit faster as far as weight loss, skin health, better teeth, hair, nails, if you're into that kind of stuff, we all can use a little bit more beauty in our lives. But the most important thing people are paying attention to is they want to lose a bunch of weight. Now, I lost 55 pounds in eight sizes with the combination of the keto diet for two and a half years. And in the last, we'll say 10 months, I think we're going on now, I've been carnivore. I'm much happier on carnivore. That is for me, you know, I wore my shirt today to try to express myself. I am really loving the all meat or meat-based lifestyle of the carnivore diet. So you have to love meat to try this. Think about it for a minute. When you are hungry, ask yourself and be truthful with yourself. Are you craving a bunch of broccoli when you're hungry? Or do you want some chicken or steak or a hamburger? Does that come to your head first? Think about what you really like the taste of. Now, I don't think people are honest about this. I think people try to tell themselves they love vegetables. I have come to realize, I even told myself this. You know, we had a garden going last year. It's not going so well this year. It's a little slower. But we had a bunch of veggies that needed to be eaten. We used to visit the farmer's market, and I was obsessed with big, large tomatoes, which I still love tomatoes, but I actually think it was causing me a lot of problems um, when I was still mainly keto, and I had a little more puffiness in the face and the body. I really felt like things slowed down for me on the keto diet from eating so many vegetables. Now, a lot of people believe vegetables, because they're lower in calories, and they seem lighter on the body when you're consuming them, that that has something to do with weight loss. I have to disagree. The reason I disagree is because I've tried the two of them. Now that is for my body. My body responds very, very well to lots of meat, a fair amount of dairy, and eggs so far. When I'm hungry, I want some ribs. I want to taste that meat. I want some bacon, some hamburgers with cheese on them. Um, I don't find myself craving salads very often. Occasionally, I do crave a salad. I tend to like to have a salad when I go out to dinner, which is not very often. And I find I want the meat first. If you're that kind of person and you love meat as much as I do, you're going to love trying the carnivore diet. If you have any questions, please hit me up. I will answer you. I love comments and or questions. And I'm there for you if you need any advice. If you're ready to try this lifestyle. Since you're restricting the types of food you're eating on the carnivore diet, you may want to include dairy. Now for myself, I need a little something more than meat. I love dairy products, sour cream, cream cheese, cheese, eggs I'm going to include as if it's dairy even though it is not. We'll call these the sides that you can have with your meats. Cottage cheese, put some sour cream on some stuff different kinds of cheeses, you know, blue cheese is good on top of a steak. To me, it really helps satiate me or make me feel full. And meat also makes me feel full. By the time I'm done eating some kind of dairy, some kind of meat, I'm pretty full. I don't need the vegetables. I don't crave vegetables. And that's why this is working out for me. I keep saying for me, some people are really into vegetables. If that is the case, you might just up your meats a little bit, stay on the keto diet, and maybe subtract a few vegetables just to see the slight climb in your weight loss and your body composition. If you're going to try the carnivore diet because it's easier than the keto diet, and then you might say, well, Misty, what do you mean easier? It sounds like it's so restrictive that you just have to relearn eating yeah, 
But this is the part that I love. And this is the part, when people ask me, why do I eat like this? This is the part that I explain to them. You know, a lot of people get tripped up by the macros. And if you don't know what macros are, they're basically measurements of nutrients and calories and counting things and numbers. I am not the kind of person, personally, who is gonna do well with a lot of details. I'm a big picture kind of gal. The easier, the better for me. A lot of people have trouble with the macros and the amounts of certain things they can have, certain things they can't, measuring things, getting scales out, restricting with numbers is not gonna work for some people. So you really have to pay attention to what kind of person are you? What kind of personality do you have? For me, it's easier to me to just base my whole diet on what meat am I having for lunch or dinner and throw some cottage cheese on the side and some regular cheese, maybe have some eggs with my steak. I'm getting hungry, of course, because I'm fasted right now. And to me, that makes things simple. I make sure I include some fats, which is basically butter. I recommend Kerrygold grass-fed butter, but if you can't afford it, get some regular butter, some good butter, uh, not margarine, real butter, and throw that on with your meats and have some butter with your meats. You are gonna feel full and it's gonna surprise you. And you're gonna have less inflammation in your body. This is the biggest thing that I love. Besides body composition, better teeth, skin, hair, nails, and fitting into clothes that I bought a few months ago, knowing that I would eventually fit into them, that really does something for me. I don't measure with a tape measure. I don't measure with a scale. I use clothing, because to me that resonates with me. So if you are so bold, think about your diet from now on. And if you wanna try the carnivore diet and get things moving in the right direction, even if it's temporary, this helps a lot of people. It is a healing diet. It is an elimination diet. You're eliminating more things that could be causing problems. You know, everything we've learned about nutrition, it seems like things are in reverse right now. It seems like the food pyramid is flipped up, upside down, and now we're realizing that meat is the way to go for better health, and that vegetables can be a little tricky in the body. We weren't, our, our systems weren't made to handle this amount of vegetables that a lot of people are gravitating towards. So I want you to reconsider the way that you eat and the way that meat is gonna be your main source of nutrition. It has more than vegetables have. One thing to pay attention to if you're gonna try the carnivore diet is your salts. Well, Misty, what do you mean salt? I heard salt was bad for you. Salt is not bad for you. Salt is only considered bad for you when it's mixed in with eating like crap. So let's rethink our salt. We're rethinking everything now. Question everything you've been taught. Pink Himalayan salt. You gotta get some pink Himalayan salt in your life. Whether you're on keto, whether you're even eating the standard American diet, or whether you're gonna try carnivore because you are brave and strong and you want to improve yourself. Get some pink Himalayan Himalayan salt, it has the electrolytes that you need every day. Don't be afraid to salt to taste. That doesn't mean pour a whole bunch of salt on and it doesn't mean to be afraid to use salt. It means be moderate with this. Be reasonable. You know, everything in moderation is not my favorite term, but with the salt, I'm gonna tell you that this is appropriate. Include your pink Himalayan salt every day in your life. Put it on your food. Get rid of the iodized salt, which contains dextrose, which just kills me. And it kills me that no one talks about it. Dextrose is another word for sugar. Can you believe there's sugar in our salt? 
Let's get rid of the old fashioned salt. Let's use the pink Himalayan salt from a seabed or wherever it comes from. The Himalayas, I guess. You also want to include, and this is very obvious, Misty, water. Drink your seven, eight glasses. Do the best you can. If you're still consuming soda, please watch my soda video. I really enjoyed doing that video. And if you have soda in your life, even if it's diet, I want you to start replacing it with water, even if it's one drink a day. This will improve you from the inside out and you will feel this. You gotta keep up your waters. Now I'm not saying I'm always good at this, but you will lose more water when you do the carnivore diet. That's why the electrolytes or the pink salt is very important and drinking water to replace the water you've expelled is also vital to your health. You do not want to become dehydrated. This is very, very important. Please pay attention to this. And the, another thing that I want to mention that is very, very important and vital to this diet is you have to get sleep, not only on the carnivore diet, but every day. I'm starting to go to bed, Andrew and I are starting to go to bed at nine. Now, I feel like a little kid. It's time to go to bed when it's light out here in the summer, but I'm really enjoying going to bed at nine. I, I almost look forward to it. It's become kind of a shock to me as an adult that um, going to bed at nine o'clock is something I'm looking forward to. Yes, I guess I'm getting older and Older people, maybe we enjoy sleep more. I don't know what it is, but I'm really enjoying the extra sleep I'm getting, whether it's an, ex an extra hour or two compared to before, but I'm trying to get to bed around nine, no later than 10. You want your circadian rhythm, you know, the best sleep I think is before 2 a.m. where you're burning fat. That's like a vital time to be dead asleep. So let's get to bed early. Let's keep all of this in check. If, if you can do this, you're going to be so happy as an individual. And I really become so happy since I started the carnivore diet. I can't even express it enough. Hopefully I'm coming across to you and I gotta tell you, I love it. If you wanna know more about the carnivore diet, I have my two favorite gurus that I go to on YouTube and listen to pretty much on a daily basis. We have Carnivore Yogi. She's excellent. She's very big into all of the details you may want to know, the things I don't quite cover. Um, we'll put a picture here of Carnivore Yogi. Check her channel out. She is really good. Another favorite of mine is Dr. Ken Berry, who is a doctor, I mean, and he tells it to you straight. He also lives here in Tennessee, not too far from us. And I plan on meeting him someday. I have a slight crush on him. I'm trying not to crush on you, Dr. Ken Berry, but it's very difficult. But I really love his mind. His mind is very, very big picture thinking. And he tells it to you straight. Check out Dr. Ken Berry on more about the carnivore diet. You know, check me out on Instagram. I have some pics of some treats that I have occasionally. You know, I have a treat now and then on the carnivore diet. I'll make a keto dessert here and there. I'm not 100% carnivore. I have to live and enjoy my life. I'm not gonna do this unless I enjoy it. So if you want a little chocolate, dark chocolate now and then, or a keto dessert here and there, you can do that on the carnivore diet and still be your best version. I want to thank you also for listening to our music. We're Black Eyed Soul, Andrew and me, our musicians, and we record here at Love Style. And our new album is coming out soon, so stay tuned for that. And I want to end with this. The keto diet's great. You have so many options. Some of us get too carried away, like I did, on the ketogenic diet with the desserts and the food obsession and changing the vegetables into dishes and just food, food, food. I used to watch recipes all day long while I worked. 
And I had to get away from that because I was having too many sweeteners and too many keto desserts. The carnivore diet is simple. No measuring, no macros, hardly any dishes, no making side dishes. This is a simple way to live if you wanna simplify your life, if you wanna enjoy every moment doing other things, pursuing your art and things you may want to do instead of cooking and being a slave to the kitchen. I want you to consider the carnivore diet. You make some meat, you have some butter, maybe some cottage cheese, maybe some regular cheese and you're done. It's easier, it's easier. Who doesn't like easy? And the results to me are more extreme with the body composition that happens. Your teeth get better. Um, your skin gets better. I can't express enough how much I love the carnivore diet. Try it today and ask me any questions in the comments, please. Please share, like, and subscribe. If you want to hear more about the carnivore diet and some more lifestyle changes we have coming your way every Monday is a new episode. Thank you for tuning in to Love Style. Peace. Eat meat. Peace out.